Let's take a look at this AWS Cloud9 environment, and I'm going to use it to develop a tool for AWS. Now I've already got this cooking in this Noah Gift Rust MLOps template repo. I'm gonna go ahead and clone it. If I go into Cloud9 here, uh, it'll be very straightforward to get this running. So first up, I check out the code. And now if I look inside of this repo and I go to Rust uh, MLOps template, I have a tool inside of this AWS directory right here. We can go ahead and navigate to it. And if we look at the source code here uh, and the cargo file, these are really the, the two main things that we care about. First, with cargo, let's go ahead and take a look at the dependencies. So I use AWS config, I use AWS SDKS3, I use Tokyo, which is an async library, and I use CLAP, which is a command line tool library, and then I use human size, which just formats uh, things in a way that makes it useful to print out. Now, if we go to the source code here, let's take a look at the library. Uh, first, I have a AWS client here. So what this pub does is it exposes it to my command line tool so I can use it in another module, and then I asynchronously uh, make a connection. And this uh, goes through and, and uh, establishes that client and returns that client as well. You can see this is the return here. Now, next here, I have a, a function that goes through and lists all of the AWS S3 buckets. And here we have, again, an async function using uh, Tokyo, and we're able to list all of the buckets in my account. And again, it, it, it returns back a result, which is all of the bucket names. Now, here's the part that's kind of fun, is if we get into the next piece of code, is we're able to get the size of an AWS S3 bucket by summing all of the objects in the bucket, right? So for a particular bucket, I go through, I look at all the different objects right here. So I say for object and contents, and I push that into a uh, sizes vector right here. And then at the very end, uh, I just do a summarization and I return that uh, as the response for this function. And finally, to really pull it all together, uh, what we do is we say use list buckets to get a list of buckets, return a vector, and if there's an error, uh, go ahead and return that vector. So this goes through and it is able to really pull everything together and uh, I also have a verbose method here that I've got set to default uh, automatically so that if there is an error, like for example, if a bucket's in a different region, I don't want to automatically print out that error. Uh, it's still there, but I just ignore it uh, from the start. And here, what I do is I actually go through here and I put all of the bucket sizes into a vector. And then uh, at the very end here, this allows me to then summarize it in my command line tool. So this is a nice, clean bit of code here. You can see very tiny amount of code. Now, if we go to the main, this is where the command line tool comes into play. We have uh, clap, which is the parser. I have some information about, you know, the version, author, etc. And then here I create these subcommands. And this is the part that's kind of fun about using uh, the subcommands here is that all I need to do is uh, go ahead and create a subcommand called buckets uh, and another subcommand called account size. And I could put additional features like for example if i want to turn off the error uh, debugging uh, inside of there and then in this main right here this does all the work all i need to do is uh, go ahead and uh, run uh, each of these different commands in this case you can see it matches the buckets uh, right here uh, which is that command right here and then inside it runs the library code and then i have another one which is account size and again it just goes through and it runs that library code and so you can see here that uh, once I've got that sum here uh, that is returned from that last function, it goes through and it gives us the formatting. So uh, very easy to run this uh, using cargo. How do we run this? I just type in cargo run uh, dash dash and then dash dash help. So the, the dash dash tells it, hey, go ahead and invoke that command line tool uh, so we can, we can run it. Let's go ahead and run that. It's gonna go through, it's gonna pull down all of the crates and actually get everything running locally here. All right, there we go. We're able to invoke it. A couple of the things I'll point out here is that I, I like to do a make file inside of my Rust projects where I have the ability to format my code, lint my code, test my code, build a optimized uh, binary. 
uh, and then also just maybe do a run command here. So this, so if I wanted to lint it, for example, I could just go through here and do lint. You can see that the code is clean. I don't have to do anything. And if I wanted to format it, same thing, I would just go ahead and do a, a make format. So that's a, a really great part of making reliable systems is that I can format lint. And, and, and especially if I get suggestions from, let's say, uh, AWS Code Whisper or some other tool like that. Okay, so the other thing that we can do here is now that I've got the help uh, running, let's go ahead and run it one more time. And I'm going to first find all my buckets. So let's go ahead and do that subcommand. We'll just type in uh, buckets. There we go. I've got all my buckets. So very, very fast uh, speed here. And then if I want to look at the ability to essentially summarize every single object in my S3 account, uh, it's also not bad. And all I need to do is go through here and run uh, account size. And this will go through here and totally summarize my entire uh, project. And if we if we do a timer here, you can see like this is lightning fast here. It only took it in, in terms of uh, real time here, uh, 1.6 seconds in terms of user time. Uh, 0.4 seconds. So we're we're able to figure out that there's 114.2 uh, gigabytes of storage on my account. So you can see here Rust is a great tool for building reliable and extremely performant uh, tools for AWS, especially command line based tools.